ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go here, round one. Here is the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Rafael Assuncao, has been largely a striker in the UFC. As defensively sound as it gets, one of the better significant strike defense percentages on this UFC run. Back to his feet. Oh, he got to his spots. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by a Sun South. Making all these shots count. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Great ground and pound by this man. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. A lot of clinch work here. A Sun Tzu's looking to pass in a half guard here, but he's denied. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Beautiful ground strikes landing. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Lock that one. Lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, hook to the head by Dominic Cruz. Drives the shin into the rib. Great body kick. And that was a solid kick. Just over two minutes, round one. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. There's the double leg. Getting the ball here. He's got his head looking for the arm triangle. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he bails on a submission now. Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cruz. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh! Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to isolate a hip to try to break that lock. Breaking the lock is step number one to escape. Oh! Back to his feet. He has the first block. Oh, big elbow. Oh, good knee. Waiting seconds here in this opening round. Oh, the end 
of round one. Heading back to the corner now after that round. The Sun South's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, here we go with round two. Rafael Sunset versus Ready. Dominic Cruz. Oh, nice jab by Sunset. Big right hand there. Starting to do some really significant. Oh, he's hurt already. Bad. He's brutalized him with the crowd of power. This fight is close to being done. Now he's going full mount. A Sunset's in half guard. Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet, very nice. Back and forth we go. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. For certain. Oh, with authority, the body. Big right hand. Oh, just opening up on him now. Great commitment to the kicking game. That one appeared to stun him. Now he's back up. Is here. Oh, a big left hand. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, floods in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Well, you see this increased comfortability on the feet for Rafael Sanz. You know, eventually he's going to try to get this fight to the mat. So far, so good in the start. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking before in his career, early. He looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right? This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. Oh, huge right hand! All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the... Oh, he's hurt! He's in trouble. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the 
drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get it inside to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael Asensio.